Welcome to Berlin, the land where history meets hipsters. This is a city that staged a revolution, was the Nazi headquarters, was bombed to bits, divided in two and then reunited. That was all inside the 20th century. Berlin is famous for its vibrant nightlife. The party scene here is so wild that even the wildest creatures of the animal kingdom would raise an eyebrow. Walk along what's remaining of the Berlin Wall. Visit Checkpoint Charlie. Check out the splendid dome at the parliament building or stand in the very room where the Holocaust was planned. Berlin is like an endlessly fascinating storybook where the past is very much present wherever you go. Hi, I'm Austin. You're watching Binet Everywhere. Let's look at the top 10 things to do in Berlin. Number 10. TV Tower TV Tower, or the Berlin for... Nash. Okay, the TV Tower has a German name that I don't think I can pronounce correctly, so let's just call it the Berlin TV Tower. At 368 meters high, it's the tallest building in all of Germany. It features an observation deck and a rotating restaurant. While you dine, the restaurant completes a full rotation every 60 minutes, providing diners with gorgeous panoramic views of the city. Rumor has it that the tower has also been considered a potential beacon for UFOs, with some claiming to have spotted unidentified flying objects near the tower, which reminds me they also have a bar and serve drinks here. Number 9. Holocaust Memorial The Holocaust Memorial in Berlin is an emotional reminder of Berlin's dark past. The memorial covers an area of 19,000 square meters and consists of 2,711 concrete slabs arranged in a grid pattern. It was completed in 2005 in memory of the 6 million Jewish victims who were murdered during the Holocaust. Most people simply walk along the gray slabs, but if you're interested in learning more about the history, you can go to the Underground Visitor Center. It gives you historical context and stories related to the Holocaust. Number 8. Berlin Zoo Who doesn't like a good zoo, right? Well, you love this one. This is the largest zoo in the world in terms of number of species. The Berlin Zoo dates back to 1844. It's home to 19,400 animals from around the world. Adjacent to the zoo is the Berlin Aquarium, which opened in 1913. It houses an extensive collection of marine life, including colorful tropical fishes, sharks, jellyfish, and even crocodiles. Number 7. Charlottenburg Palace The Charlottenburg Palace was built as a summer residence for Sophie Charlotte, the wife of Frederick III of Brandenburg. Hence the name Charlottenburg Palace. It's a combination of stunning architecture, elaborate interiors, and picturesque gardens. This is the largest palace in Berlin, covering an area of approximately 124 acres. The palace gardens feature well-manicured lawns, flower beds, fountains, and serene paths. Number 6. Checkpoint Charlie in the days when the Berlin Wall divided Germany between the Communist East and the Liberal West, this was a crossing checkpoint, once only foreigners and diplomats were allowed to go through. Checkpoint Charlie has witnessed fascinating showdowns and some outrageous attempts from East Germans trying to flee to the West. The site is now a famous tourist attraction, with the Checkpoint Charlie Museum exhibiting how desperate people got to get to the other side. Number 5. Berlin Wall and East Side Gallery the Berlin Wall stood from 1961 to 1989, dividing entire Germany into two parts. The wall was supposed to stop East Germans from fleeing to the West. In the West, people referred to the border strip as the Death Strip, because many people were killed while trying to get to cross. With the downfall of East Germany in 1989, the Berlin Wall fell. East Side Gallery refers to the longest standing portion of the Berlin Wall. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, international artists came here and created paintings depicting the world's joyous response to the end of the Cold War. The wall forms the world's largest open-air gallery, featuring more than a hundred murals, including some that are not very pretty to look at. Number 4. Topography of Terror 
1933 to 1945, this location served as the headquarters to the Gestapo, a secret Nazi police organization. The complex has secret tunnels and chambers where the political prisoners of the regime were mercilessly tortured. The exhibition here provides an in-depth historical overview of Adolf Hitler's Nazi era. Number 3. The Reichstag Building Reichstag or the Parliamentary Building was originally constructed between 1884 and 1894. It was set on fire in 1933 and bombed during World War II. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, the official German reunification ceremony was held at the Reichstag Building on 3rd October 1990. This beautiful glass dome was added later on. It has a 360-degree view of the surrounding Berlin cityscape. The main hall of the parliament below can also be seen from inside the dome. Number 2. The Brandenburg Gate Constructed between 1788 and 1791, the Brandenburg Gate served as a grand entrance to the city. During the Cold War, the structure sat in no man's land between East and West Berlin. It's however been the backdrop of much of the city's history, including Nazi parades and the celebrations of Germany's reunification. The monument is now a must-see symbol that represents Germany's unity. It's also the most photographed site in Berlin. Number 1. Museum Island Museum Island is the name given to a clump of five museums. The Berliner Dome, Cathedral, and large gardens clustered on a tiny island in Berlin. The five museums are Pergamon Museum, Bode Museum, Old Museum, New Museum, and the Old National Gallery. Each presents a different aspect of German history and art. The Berliner Dome is an architectural gem and has a lot of historical and religious significance in Berlin's history. They also have an observation deck that gives beautiful panoramic views of Berlin. Right, those were our top 10 Berlin attractions. Let us know your thoughts on our list in the comments section below. The best time to visit Berlin is from May to September, when the weather is ideal. Winter, on the other hand, is freezing. However, this is the best time for budget travelers to score deals on airfare and hotel prices. Make sure to like the video if you found it interesting and share it with your friends if you found it informative and subscribe to watch more in the series. Thanks for watching.